The idea of a compound clip is to combine multiple video clips from a sequence into one single video clip. To execute that in DaVinci Resolve, all we need to do is make sure we select our video clips and then right click and then in the menu, select new compound clip. And then we're going to be greeted with a pop-up window that asks us to give it a name. I'm just going to leave it the way it is now and then hit create. So now we just created a compound clip that is a single video clip uh, that combined all the video clips that were in that sequence into one. And the cool thing is that if we look under media pool, we see that now this new compound clip is saved as a separate video clip that can be extracted and reused down the road. Compound clip can be especially helpful when we have videos on multiple tracks. As long as we select all these videos, then the rest of the process for creating a compound clip is exactly the same. Select new compound clip and then hit create. And now we have a single video clip that combined all the videos from different tracks into one. Common clip can also work for only the video or the audio, as long as length selection is turned off. We now have the ability to select only uh, clips from the audio track, and then we can go through the same process for creating a compound clip. And now we have a compound clip that only contains clips from the audio track. Of course, the same can also be done for videos as well, as long as length selection remain turned off. We now have the ability to select only the video clips, and then create a compound clip that contains only clips from the video track. Now, as we saw earlier, when we create a compound clip, the compound clip itself is actually saved as a separate uh, video clip uh, under the media pool. And what that means is that we always have the ability to bring it back, even if the file is removed from the timeline. Now, another question you may have at this point is that do we have the ability to bring back all the original video clips in the sequence? Yes. All you need to do is make sure you select your compound clip and then right click and then in the menu, select decompose in place. And this will bring back all the original video clips that were in that sequence. And now you have the ability to edit only those individual clips in that sequence. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the practical applications of a compound clip. A compound clip, as we saw earlier, is saved as a separate video clip under the media pool. And what that means is that we now can bring that clip back into the timeline at any time and place it anywhere we want. This can be especially helpful if we have a complicated sequence that we want to move to a different place in the timeline. Now we have the ability to easily do that because that entire sequence is now saved as a single video clip that we can just drag to anywhere we like in the timeline. Compound clip can also be very helpful if we want to move that sequence to a different timeline. So let's say right now we switch to a different timeline that has very different videos. And now we have the ability to bring that sequence uh, very easily uh, into this new timeline because uh, that entire sequence is now saved as a single video clip. So instead of having to try to create that sequence from scratch in this new timeline, we can just drop that entire sequence here easily into our timeline. Compound clip also works great in the Fusion application. So let's go ahead and remove this compound clip right now and replace it with a new video. And let's take this new video to the Fusion page. And now we can actually use that compound video, uh, compound clip as a secondary video input uh, to this new video on our Fusion page. Now, if let's say you want to apply a Fusion effect to our uh, compound clip here, you can simply do so by taking it to the Fusion page. And we're gonna go ahead and use the blur node uh, here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make some small changes. And you will see that now this blur effect is going to be applied to this entire compound clip. So it really allows us to easily apply a fusion effect to all the video clips that are in that sequence. You can also apply changes to inspector controls very easily through compound clip. Uh, in this example, we're just gonna go ahead and change the zoom setting and apply a gradual zoom out effect uh, to this sequence. So as you can see now, as the video progresses, uh, we're getting this gradual zoom out effect and compound clip definitely made it very easy for us to execute this effect uh, to our sequence. Now with the color page, it also works great as well. All we need to do is just to take our video clip, uh, to take our compound clip to the color page and any change that you apply on the color page will be applied uniformly to all the clips that are in that sequence. So as you can see, Compound Clip is a very powerful, versatile tool in DaVinci Resolve. And I hope this video helps, and I'll see you guys next time.